Hi, I'm Diane Vaz, a head of Standard & Poor's Global Fixed Income Research. Each quarter, we publish outlooks on U.S. corporates and a separate report on U.S. high yield, as well as Europe and emerging markets. In the next few minutes, I'll give you some highlights from our global corporate and sovereign rating actions and outlook research. In 2013, S&P downgraded 568 issuers, impacting $5 trillion in rated debt and upgraded 488 issuers, impacting over $2 trillion. The resulting downgrade ratio, or proportion of downgrades to total rating actions, was 54%, the lowest in four years and below the historic average of 62%. The largest downgrades in 2013 were primarily sovereigns, including Venezuela, the Netherlands, and France, whereas the largest upgrades included mostly corporate names, like Ford, Comcast, and Liberty Global. So how do we see 2014 playing out? Across the globe, downgrade potential continues to decline below historical averages, and upgrade potential continues to stagnate at historic lows. Together, these trends illustrate a decline in rating actions and increase in credit stability. In fact, nearly four out of five issuers around the globe are currently rated with the stable outlook. This illustrates our expectation that credit stability will likely continue throughout this year on a global basis, though some pockets of uncertainty remain. In the U.S., we expect economic conditions to continue to be supportive of credit stability. The Eurozone, while climbing out of recession, continues to face headwinds on its recovery. Some of the stronger economies in the region, like Germany, will see some credit improvement, though this may be offset by an increasing risk of deflation in the fringe economies. Ratings in other developed countries, Australia, Canada, Japan, and New Zealand, are likely to remain relatively stable as 79% of the ratings have stable outlooks. Within emerging markets, entities based in emerging Asia show the highest potential for additional downgrades, followed by those in Latin America and then those in EMEA. Indian entities drive the high negative bias in emerging Asia, and Brazil and Argentine entities drive the LATAM downward pressure. We expect downgrades to be concentrated in the global banking and metals and mining sectors, where over a quarter of issuers in both groups are currently on negative outlook or credit watch with negative implications. We expect upgrades to be concentrated in automotive sector, illustrating a pickup in demand for American auto manufacturers in China and a slight pickup in European auto sales after six years of declines. For additional details, please see our report entitled Global Corporate and Sovereign Rating Actions and Outlook, as well as the four regional reports. Thanks for listening.